Grown Rogue, GRUSF stock. This is a company that's very quietly, their stock, GRUSF stock, continues to just inch higher and higher and higher very quietly. They're adding more and more revenues. They're also profitable. We're at an inflection point for this investment uh, landscape for cannabis stocks. We should be getting, in about three and a half weeks, we should be getting news from uh, DEA in response to, or the Attorney General in response to uh, HHS recommendation. And from there, we should see stocks become more value investments because they're, at that point, it's the final pieces of the puzzle. This is a stock that should they uplist to the uh, from OTC to say NASDAQ, grown rogue with their numbers, if they continue to grow, this is one I think uh, individuals are going to get gobble up. It's one of the ones that I'm buying right now myself. Let's jump in and I'll show you the latest numbers on Grown Rug. If you are just joining me for the first time, thanks so much. Make sure to hit the like and follow button. I'm D.H. Taylor. This channel I've renamed it is now Cannabis Stocks Analysis. And I'm, the, I'm that guy who looks at these smaller companies instead of all the clickbait out there. I break down all of them. This particular stock, you can see in September, it was August 30th when we first got the announcement from HHS. We knew it was coming. We just didn't know what date. But you can see uh, the volume spikes there and the continual increases. It was trading, GRUSF stock was trading right around 18 cents. It's up to about 30 cents now. This is an outlier. All other stocks have already tanked. There are other companies out there that are profitable that have gone lower. Uh, Vexed Sciences, VEXTF stock. Make sure you take a look at that one. Ohio just voted in adult use. Vexed Sciences is in Ohio. So you would think that stock would have gone up. It's going nowhere. These There's about three or four profitable companies where the stock has just flatlined because investors have been burned too many times and they're not rushing into these. Okay, time to gobble them up. Because eventually this these this industry is going to become more profitable and move forward. Uh, latest revenue, you can see a big jump there from five to six million. It's not much. That was a 20% jump though. From five to six, that's 20%. There are expectations that they will continue to grow. I'll get into the... Um, projections in just a second. Margins are pretty strong. They're just shy of the average for the industry. Right now, the Q2 was printing about, I want to say 45% gross margins. So these guys are right around that particular number. Operating efficiencies, you want to see numbers somewhere between 15 to 20. These guys are getting there. Should their revenue continue to grow more and more? And if they can keep their operating costs basically flatlined or contained, you'll see this this chart here, operating efficiencies continue to slide lower and operating profits increase along with operating margins. Um, EBITDA, with the increase in revenue, economies of scale, more profits. Bottom line, because Grown Rogue over the past seven quarters has been EBITDA profitable, we now start asking the question about net earnings possible profitability. And over the past four quarters, they have printed positive net earnings. Imagine if they keep growing and getting bigger and bigger. Um, from a growth perspective, I think they're looking for uh, roughly about 35 million, but we'll get in that second. Total equity. This one's important. And someone asked me uh, on my forum at the website, dhtaylornalysis.com. Did change that. Make sure you stop by. Thanks so much. Um, what do you do? Why is total equity an important thing? Because if you are a profitable company, and a lot of companies are not within this industry, but if you are, you have assets. You can borrow against that assets and invest, opening up new dispensaries, opening up growth facilities, whatever investment you're looking to do. And assuming that you can pay less in interest payments than you can earn from opening up a new dispensary, then that dispensary would be a, a valuable investment. So when we see total equity increasing more and more because a company's net earnings positive and they're not being 
uh, bogged down by too much debt, that's a huge thing. So total equity continually moving upward, this gives them a lot of latitude. If they continue to get their revenues increasing more and more and these guys start banking more and more net earnings, you could see extensive growth uh, moving forward because they'll have that equity to borrow against. They'll get better terms. Plus, with the valuation as low as it is, I mean, that's basically you're buying assets, pennies on the dollar. They're expecting about, tw uh, in 2023, to finish up at about 18 million. Should hit 25 million in 2024. <clears throat> then finally, 2025, about another 5 million added onto that for 30 million. So this is a company that they are consistently going to be growing more and more and their net earnings positive. The stock is moving higher. They moved from about 18 cents to 30 cents. That's nearly double, I mean, nearly. If they keep going, things could really start lighting up. Here's a look at, a bigger look at the stock itself, going all the way back into 2021 territory where it dipped all the way down to 10 cents. And again, we're trading right around 30 cents. GRUSF stock did not sell off like other stocks did. Uh, we saw a big rise after August 30th, and all of those stocks, including MSOS stock, sold off. Uh, and I really think it's just the short players just playing games. This one got ignored almost entirely. Um, saw some movements back downward, but nowhere near where it was when it launched. One of the reasons it's, it's profitable. Investors are going to start looking at these investments and start buying in on these profitable companies. Why wouldn't they? So when you break down some of these companies, you're going to start asking the question, I mean, your price to book ratio is below normal, plus you're profitable, which means their book is just going to keep growing. Plus, if they start expanding even further, if they get their revenue growth that they're looking at, that's just more profits. You're basically buying this stock on a discount. I am buying this stock on a discount. I have been adding a little bit here and there over the past couple quarters, and I will continue to add to this one simply because it's profitable. This is an outlier when you look at other companies within the industry. There's only about, I want to say about 10 that are profitable or real close to break even at any particular time. So this tiny little company could really pack a punch. I'm looking in 2024 for things to really kind of turn upward slowly. I'm not looking for some massive rally. I'm just looking for a long, slow, steady increase in price. One of the things that's going to really kind of make that happen is companies moving from OTC to the big boards. That's the last piece of the puzzle that we'll need to see. We're also going to see a lot of M&A activity. You're going to see two companies merging together and then chopping costs. And that's really going to add value for shareholders. So keep this one in mind or put it in your portfolio. Make sure you hit that like and follow button. Thanks so much for the great comments. The channel's going great. I did break out some of my other channels, uh, other content into more appropriate channels, keeping this channel just uh, this kind of content. Make sure to follow the link in the description to uh, get to my website and the other channels. See you in the next video.